So you can listen to this practice wherever it is you find yourself today. You can be sitting down or laying down or even stretching and doing things if that's what you got to do. And hopefully wherever you're at, when you listen to this, it will still be helpful to you in some way. So if you'd like to listen in a still position, just feel free to take all the time you need to arrive there and just let yourself fidget, adjust, stretch, or move in whatever ways your body wants to. Doing your best to not think about the movements at all, but more letting your body move you in the ways that intuitively feel good in your bones, muscles, joints. Not worrying at all about what it looks like, but just coming more fully into your sense of feeling and just following any yummy sensations you get when you move the body in certain ways. Maybe some neck rolls, some side body bends or torso twists, or some cat-cow motions with the spine. Or maybe taking a big full body stretch, reaching the arms overhead, and just feeling that space between your hip bones and the bottom of your rib cage getting a little bit longer. So giving your organs lots of space to breathe. And there's no rush whatsoever. You can continue to move even throughout this practice whenever you feel the need to. You're not messing anything up if you do that. But if you're feeling ready to come to a still position, if that's how you'd like to listen today, then you may do so. Just feeling that the spine is nice and straight in whatever position you've chosen. And if you're in a space where you feel safe and would like to, you can allow the eyes to gently close at any time if they aren't already. Now take a moment to mark your arrival into your practice today, into your body today, with a full intentional cleansing breath. As you welcome in a long and slow inhale in through the nose, and just let yourself fill up slowly to every corner and edge of you. And when you're full, just holding that breath within you for a moment to experience this sense of fullness. And without straining as you need to, slowly let all of that go. Exhaling bit by bit. As you gently pull the navel toward the spine at the bottom of your exhale to really push that last bit of stagnant air out of you. As you again pause for a moment to now experience the sense of emptiness. Allowing your next breath to come to you as it's needed. And so you can breathe just like this for as many rounds as feels good and helpful to you. Just exaggerating the four parts of your breath. So not worrying about the actual length of your inhales, exhales, and pauses on either side, but letting all of these parts be exaggerated, whatever that means for you right now. So when the body feels full, when you would naturally stop inhaling, seeing if you can open yourself up, expand your belly a little bit more to take in a moment's worth of air more into the body, just getting a little bit fuller. And when you would naturally roll over to your exhale, seeing if you can hold off on that for an extra moment to stay with that fullness a little bit longer. And then as you exhale, when you would naturally stop seeing if you can push out a tiny bit more air and before you roll over to that next inhale holding off and staying in that emptiness for a moment longer so we're consciously slowing down the four parts of our breath the inhale the pause the exhale and the pause just communicating to the nervous system that we are slowing down.
And at any time, if you haven't already, you can release this guidance over your breath altogether. And maybe almost feeling like you're stepping back and up in the mind into the role of the observer or the witness. Into that point of view where you can simply witness the fact that your body is breathing rather than having any direct impact over the rhythm or depth of the breath. But remembering how our breath is our one bodily function that can be either voluntary or automatic. So releasing that voluntary guidance we just had over the breath and now simply observing the automatic process that is your body breathing you. Taking on that same energy you might feel when you lay on the beach and just watch the waves roll up along the shoreline. Not trying to change anything about the size or speed of the waves, but just watching as they come and go. Seeing your body and your breath just as you would see any other force of nature not trying to change it at all, but simply watching, observing. And now noticing any expression that could be resting on your face right now. Feeling where any tension could be gathering in the face, maybe in the jaw or in the forehead and eyebrows. Maybe in the nostrils or the chin. maybe even in the ears. Making note of any emotions that could be communicated by this resting expression on your face. and then choosing to let these areas soften a little bit more. Just feeling your jaw hang into place as your tongue releases from the roof of the mouth. Feeling the corners of the mouth soften a little bit more. As you just let the lips rest softly on one another. Allowing that release in the mouth to naturally allow the chin to soften a bit further. The nostrils. As the softness spreads outward and upward as you feel the cheeks relax a bit deeper the ears, all those tiny little mus muscles along your lash line that scrunch up when you squint, even feeling those soften as the corners of your eyes just get a little bit wider just with this release. Your hairline softens back as your forehead is wide and deep, allowing your gaze to be soft wherever it is that you are looking, whether that be at the world outside of you and around you, or at the backs of the eyelids, or maybe looking up more into the forehead, or rolling back even further and peering into the skull itself. Wherever it is that your eyes are 
resting. Just letting your sense of vision be soft so that you are seeing everything rather than one particular thing. Just sitting in your sense of sight. Not trying to see anything specific, but just allowing yourself to see what it is you see. Whether that be just darkness, maybe some light leaks here and there, or maybe full on scenes and visions. Just allowing yourself to see whatever it is you see. Allowing your eyeballs to rest heavy in their sockets. And now feel all of this softness and release in the muscles of your face. Almost as if all of the tiny muscles that create every expression you've ever made almost as, as if all of these muscles are simply ungripping from the bones, releasing back into the support of your skin. Reminding yourself to trust your own anatomy and that you do not need to hold yourself in any specific way. But when you let go, everything will be held exactly where it needs to be. And so you can allow yourself to be as heavy, as wide, as big as you are. And now feeling the sense of release in the muscles of the face naturally spread down the whole scalp, feeling a sense of release in the muscles of the neck, in the shoulders, in the arms and the hands. even if it's just for a moment, feeling a deep sense of stillness within the body. Feeling all those muscles across your abdomen release a bit further and almost hug and protect the organs. feeling the pelvic floor widen and deepen as you fully release your glutes and fully release yourself into the surface that is beneath you. Allowing yourself to be held and supported by the surface that is beneath you. Remembering that deep safety we all have just with the earth that is beneath us and the force of gravity all around us. And that when you let go, even when you are in a deep sleep, you are held right where you need to be. You are not crushed and you do not float away, but you are held toward the earth with the force of gravity hugging you closer. And feeling all of the muscles 
down the legs, almost roll off of the bones as you find a deeper release in the legs and the feet and the toes. And you just remind yourself of this deep, ultimate sense of safety that we all possess. Reminding yourself that that deep sense of safety is there. Even if there are many layers of fear and doubt stacked on top. Beneath it all, we are safe. And so not ignoring the fear and doubt that is within us, but simply remembering that even beneath that, we do feel safe. And allowing the fears and doubts that pop up for you act almost as seeds. Letting your fears be reminders to you or act as a catalyst of change maybe that you need to make in life. Knowing that if you find yourself in scenarios or around people that impede on your sense of safety, make you feel unsafe in some way, Letting those reminders be there and not ignoring them or convincing yourself that you do feel safe. But just trusting that you have the ability to curate your life in a way that best supports your safety in your life. And it can take a lot of time for us to get there. So just being so patient and kind to yourself wherever you are in this journey. Just trusting that small daily actions that support your safety and your life, your passions and your sense of purpose will gradually get you closer to where you want to be. And the first step in any real change is acknowledging the things we want to change. And I know it can be so scary at times to admit to ourselves the things that we don't like about our current situation, especially when they feel inevitable. But just know that the only thing that is inevitable is change. That is all we can count on in this life is that everything changes. And so just being an active participant in your change, knowing that the small actions you make on a daily basis that get you closer to where you see yourself or where you'd like to be. It is in the small actions. And so as you release yourself even deeper into the surface that is beneath you, you can remember a time when you've hugged someone who you love dearly, maybe a person or maybe an animal. Just any time where you have exhaled into a hug, any time where you have allowed yourself to be held, to be loved and protected. That moment when you exhale and you simply let yourself be held.
taking on that same feeling with gravity and the earth. And just let yourself be held, be loved by the world that is all around you. So you can continue to feel whatever is here for you to feel. Continue to soften your body into whatever it is you feel. As you listen to the following words written by young Pueblo in his book, Clarity and Connection. And just allow anything that feels like it resonates with you to soak in deeper and not worrying about the rest. Letting go does not mean you have given up. It does not mean you no longer care. It just means that you are releasing the attachments of the past that get in the way of your happiness and mental clarity. Letting go is the unbinding and disentangling of old behavior patterns that pull you into unnecessary mental tension and worry. When you can be okay with things not having gone a certain way, life begins again. Making peace with the past opens you up to love and adventure and allows you to apply the lessons you've learned with a new calmness. Many of us do not realize how much we are actually suffering until our awareness starts to expand. We do not see that our happiness has a ceiling created by the sorrows and traumas we have repeatedly suppressed. We do not realize that our reactions to life's difficulties stop us from seeing things clearly and place limits on our ability to produce more creative solutions. We do not understand how powerfully our past grips our present. So much of our internal struggle comes from not embracing change. Tension decreases when we understand that change is happening at every level, from the atomic to the biological to the mental. A human being is composed of moving parts. Our identity is no different. It is a dynamic phenomena similar to a river. Flowing, moving, expanding, roaring, weaving, all the time with power, and all the time with potential to change. Do not limit yourself to a static understanding of who you are. Release your conditioned boundaries and be free. May all of the times that someone has made an incorrect assumption about you activate a new sense of humility and patience in your mind that stops you from doing the same thing to another person in the future. The depth of our relationships is defined by how freely we feel we can deliver our authentic message. The deepest bonds are held together by a bridge of honesty. Real love holds space for vulnerability a place where we can be open, raw, and even share parts of ourselves that are not fully formed, but are ready to be expressed. Whether within ourselves or in front of someone who is close to us, 
Vulnerability asks for non-judgmental acceptance of our imperfections. This is a form of compassion that can help us observe our story in a different light, hopefully transforming what was once burdensome into a more insightful understanding. This is also a form of compassion that allows us to accept the way things are without trying to change it. Sometimes vulnerability just asks to be seen and heard. If we are far away from ourselves, if we are not honest with ourselves, and if we are full of unexamined emotions and conditioning, we will naturally find it difficult to be close to others. It becomes easier to give loving support when we have taken the time to explore our own inner world and let go of the subconscious patterns that do not align with how we want to show up for one another. When you feel agitated because you think someone you love is not growing quickly enough, remember that you had to go slowly before you could make real progress. Managing your expectations and knowing that people grow at their own speed will save you from interrupting your peace. Being okay with not being okay does not make things automatically better, but it does stop you from adding more tension to an already difficult situation. Being okay with not being okay helps you let go. So you can take the next few moments to just allow every word you've heard today to settle. And trusting that anything at all that you've heard that felt helpful or resonated with you in some way Trusting that that feeling can sometimes come when we hear on the outside what a part of us already knows to be true on the inside. And so just allowing those truths to be enhanced within you so that you feel a little bit more confidence to act on your own intuition. And just know that at any time, if there is physical pain present in the body or even mental pain, emotional or psychological pain, any form of pain present within you, just doing your best to release that extra layer of resistance to the pain. Because at the end of the day, that is all we have control over. And I find for myself, when I'm experiencing intense physical pain, that most of what is bothersome to me, most of what is painful, is the constant voices in my head saying, I don't want to feel this way. I want to feel better. Why am I feeling like this? The constant questioning. I find that the heaviest layer of my suffering is all the resistance I have to the present moment, to whatever it is I'm feeling. And if even just for a split second, I can just say to myself, I'm in pain. I am feeling this way. And rather than trying to distract and look away from it, look directly at it. 
feel it fully. And even if it's just for a moment, I feel some sense of relief that I'm not resisting what is. And reminding myself that the only thing we know for sure is that everything changes, especially how we feel changes. And so with that in mind, it gives me a little bit more power to feel the hard things, to feel the pain and the suffering that is inevitable in the human experience. To trust that, yes, I'm feeling this pain right now, but this will not last forever. And so it is safe for me to feel it, for me to allow it to arise from within me and release outside of me rather than shoving everything deeper down and covering everything up where it only echoes louder within you. And just reminding yourself that you are a human. And part of being human involves pain and suffering and bad things. And it also involves love and joy and all the good things in life. And so we can use the good things and the things that really fuel us and make us feel passionate and alive and feel like we have a purpose here. We can use those things as little lifelines along the way. and finding the things in life that make all the pain worth it. Finding the things that you enjoy so much that you will live through the pain. You will experience the pain and suffering because it means you are alive and can experience these other amazing things. And you are allowed to sprinkle as much of your joys and passions into your life as you need. And so if it feels like something you'd like to do today, you can just let your hands come and find each other in a prayer position toward heart center. And just feel this contact of your palms and fingers to one another. And allow your heart to lift toward your thumbs as your thumbs press back toward the heart. As you tune in to this unique rhythm that is your own heartbeat. The rhythm of the life that is being pumped into you every moment of every day. can take a final deep and full breath into the body, letting yourself fill up to every corner and edge of you. And as you exhale, letting go of anything you're ready to let go of as you allow the head to gently bow. taking this moment to bow to the source of energy that allows all of our hearts to beat, whatever you believe that to be. And bowing to everyone else in this space who has listened and completed this practice right alongside you. And finally, bowing to yourself for choosing to show up today and for taking the time out of your busy life for this pure act of self-love and self-care.
And may this act continue to heal you through the rest of your days and nights. And may you bring the same love and understanding to everything you do and to everyone that you see. Thank you.